students in the previous class you know what is speed what is velocity in this class in this lecture we discuss what is relative velocity velocity you know but what is relative velocity you know a relation is established between two minimum two objects are required to establish a relation suppose i say you have relation with your parents he is your father you are his child or you are the son exactly in this case there is a relation between two objects suppose i take a is an object and this object moves with a speed v a e what is this i will say similarly students another object you consider b that also moves with v b e students what are these these are the subscripts a e means object a e for earth object b e for earth what is the meaning of that students in the earlier video you know earth is taken as a reference frame with respect to earth our calculation is made suppose i say i move with a speed of 20 km per hour it means my speed is with respect to earth everything is relative in this world so that's why i say my speed is relative with respect to r suppose you move with a velocity of 40 km per hour what does it mean it means your velocity is 40 km per hour with respect to r exactly i write v a means velocity of a with respect to r e for earth so these are called subscript so how to find the velocity of this body with respect to that body or velocity of this body which is that which is that to i mean with respect to body a so that is what relative velocity velocity of one body with respect to another body is called relative velocity suppose i say velocity of a with respect to b or velocity of b with respect to a that is what your relative velocity relative means velocity of one with respect to other i mean with that or with respect to this body how the velocity of that body is changing that is relative so how to find out the relative velocity so if i write that is v a b students a b is the subscript what does it mean it mean velocity of a with respect to b if i write v b a it means velocity of b with respect to a how to calculate the process is like that v a b can be written as v a e plus v e b a is the starting point b is the ending a starting b ending within this e is there e for r that means v a b 
can be written as V A E plus V E B. Suppose I take V X Y. One can be V X E plus V E Y. It starting, this is ending. So this is the middle part. In this way, your relative velocity can be calculated. So students you get, so this is the formula for calculation of relative velocity of A with respect to B or velocity of B with respect to A. So this is the formula. If I simplify this, it can be, you check it, VAB can be rewritten as VAE minus B B E. One can raise the question of why it is negative E B R with respect to B. But what we have to take? B with respect to R. R with respect to B is not possible. What we say? Body B with respect to R. That's why when the subscript E B is changed into B, that will be negative. So, what you get? This is the formula. V A B is equal to V A E minus V B. I mean, velocity of A body with respect to body B is equal to velocity of A with respect to R or simply you say velocity of A body minus velocity of B body with respect to R or simply you say velocity of B body. So this is the formula one can also write like this. So velocity of A with respect to B, you can write V A vector minus V B vector. Now, based on this, if we do certain problems or if you do certain analysis, you see, suppose I say two bodies are in same direction. Suppose I take one case one, but Two bodies A and B are in same direction. So students, when two bodies are in same direction, so what is the velocity of one body with respect to another body? You see what formula you have got? You got this one. So, how to find out this? Two bodies A and B are in same direction. So, when they are in same direction, simply one can write V A B is equal to V A minus V B because it is known in vector addition. You have already known how two vectors are added. So here one is V A, another is minus V B because this is nothing but one can write this is what V A plus minus V B. So it is one vector, it is another vector, when two are added, this gives V A B. So when vector is eliminated, why I have eliminated those vectors? Because A and B are in the same direction. That's why you get this. So for case one, this is the formula. For case two, if I take another one case two, what? Both are in opposite direction. Both are 
both are in opposite direction opposite direction what does it mean you see suppose students here is a body a body that is moving with v a velocity here it is body b that is moving with velocity v b so what is the relative velocity of a with respect to b so how to find out you have the formula students since they are opposite direction so one can write that is vab is equal to va plus vb so this can be vab or this can be vb either way you say either velocity of a with respect to b or velocity of b with respect to a so very important conclusion you get when two bodies are in same direction suppose you are cycling and your friend is also cycling on the same road you are moving like that so your velocity with respect to your friend or your friend velocity with respect to you can be calculated like that subtraction but if both are moving suppose you are moving towards east and your friend is moving towards west you start from one position suppose you start from school you go towards your home that is east and your friend moves towards west so in that case your velocity will be added v a plus v so this formula you have to remember to solve some problems and keep in mind this is in 1d or one dimension i mean motion in straight paths if motion in different path or if it, if it is not 1d then the calculation will be in different way which can be known in vectors also and keep in mind this is in one direction suppose we consider some other type of situations suppose what suppose here is a vehicle it is moving suppose this is train suppose i take this is a train its velocity is t e velocity of train with respect to r suppose a man is here and its velocity is man with respect to train i mean a man is walking in the train with velocity vmt what is vmt velocity of man with respect to train because he is moving on the train vte because train is moving on the earth that's why te train with respect to earth mt man with respect to train so if you are told to find out velocity of man with respect to earth so what should be that can be written as velocity of man with respect to train plus velocity of like that i can write in like this uh, that is mt what is this plus this is te this is te you see this is starting point this is ending point so starting ending and this will be same keep in mind always we write this is same tt so velocity of man with respect to train plus this so students since they are in same direction direction is same so you can write velocity of man with respect to r is equal to velocity of man with respect to train plus velocity of train with respect to r you can eliminate the vector symbol once they are in same direction so what you get suppose a question is there velocity of train is 
50 km per hour velocity of man with respect to train is 1 km per hour okay this is an example a man is moving with a speed of 1 km per hour in this train or within that train but train is moving with a speed of 50 km per hour suppose another man is here on the ground it is on the ground what he saw he saw that that man is moving with a speed of what that is 1 km plus 50 that is 51 km per hour see how it is applied how this relative velocity concept is applied train is moving with 50 km per hour that man within this moves with 1 km per hour but a man is here he saw what is the speed of the man with respect to that speed of the man with respect to that that's why he saw so velocity of this man with respect to that or ground or earth is what that is 51 kilometer per hour suppose one says sir he is at rest he is at rest means 0 km per hour if he is at rest so what is his velocity with respect to this obviously this is the velocity of the train you are within the train if train speed is 50 your speed is 50 if train speed is 20 your speed is 20 provided you are at rest inside the train but if you move the velocity is calculated like that okay suppose that man is moving in opposite way one kilometer per hour a man is here on the ground so what is the, what is the velocity of the man with respect to ground or earth so in this case how to calculate you see since direction is opposite so direction of this is opposite you take it minus because your formula is like that man with respect to what is equal to man with respect to train what is given that is this one plus vt but since they are in opposite direction you know when you are adding two vectors a vector and a b vector if they are in the same direction your resultant vector will be a plus b but when they are in opposite direction one negative will come so that's why i write that is minus this you just see vm is minus this plus that minus one that is how much this is 49 kilometer per hour what does it mean i mean that fellow that man will observe that this man is 49 kilometer in one hour from this place i mean if this takes suppose in one hour suppose he studied that in one hour that fellow covers what 49 kilometer it is the meaning so in this way you calculate relative velocity of one with respect to another but important thing is that whether two are separate body or they are connected body in this case the man is within that train same thing if the man is running above the train same thing, same result will happen. If it is in the same direction, this will be added. If it is in opposite direction, that will be subtracted. Same result, both are same. I think you understand some points or some analysis regarding your relative velocity. We will take certain other examples like that. What is the meaning? You can understand this. Suppose you see here is 
suppose I take uh, suppose here is Uh, that is your T nice here. Here is a nice here. They start their motion with 20 meter per second, and this is 30 meter per second. They are in same direction. The starting point is same point. From same point they start their motion. My question is, what is the relative velocity between them? Obviously, since they are in same direction, so the relative velocity will be what? 30 minus 20 is equal to 10 meter per second. I mean, I can write velocity of Rina with respect to Tina because it is more velocity of Rina with respect to Tina is equal to 30 minus 20 is equal to 10 meter per second. What does it mean? It means Rina is ahead of Tina. Rina is ahead of Tina 10 meter in one second. I mean in one second Irina is 10 meter ahead of Tina. It is the meaning. Suppose a question is there, but in, I say, in 10 seconds, in 10 seconds, Tina covers how much? One says, sir, 200 meter. In 10 seconds, Irina covers how much? 300 meter. So, what is the distance difference? I mean, what is the difference of distance or path? That is 100 meter. What does it mean? Rina is 100 meter ahead in 10 seconds. They are that of Tina. So, this is the concept of your relative velocity. So, this is in same direction. If they are in opposite direction, you can also calculate in same way. What does it mean? Suppose this is what 20 meter per second. This is your 30 meter per second. So in this case, what is velocity of Rina with respect to Tina? This will be added 30 plus 20. That will be 50 meter per second. What does it mean? When you one second, they are at a distance separation of 50 meter. In one second, they are at a distance separation of 50 meter. Suppose here, here is a one. He studied. What he studied? He studied in one second. Suppose Rina reaches here. In that one second, Tina reaches here. So, what is the distance between these two? That is your 50. I mean, in one second, they are at a distance of 50 meter. Okay? So, this is what the relative velocity when they are in opposite direction. So based on this, some problems can be solved. If you know or if you know the concept of relative velocity, there is no difficulty in solving problems. Suppose one question is there. Suppose here is a rail line or you say track. Here is a train, it moves with 20 meter per second, fast train, training. Here is another train that moves with 30 meter per second. And suppose the distance separation is 1000 meter. I mean 
by mistake two trains are coming from opposite sides on the same track so my question is at what time they collide with each other they strike so how to calculate time is told so time is nothing but what the students you know that is distance or like that you know you see v is equal to what d by t so i can write t is equal to that is d by v d is 1000 meter your v is relative speed that is 50 meter per second this v is nothing but relative velocity velocity of one with respect to other or velocity of this with respect to that so how much the answer is simply 20 second i mean after 20 second they will collide they will strike so this is the use of relative velocity okay similarly students if i take a same direction you can also calculate suppose here is a question start their motion from kotak city and they will reach jajpur suppose the distance is i take suppose this is you take uh, that is uh, what suppose 100 km okay just take the example so it moves with 50 km per hour it moves with 80 km per hour what is my question my question is how much time it takes to reach that destination how much time it takes that destination which one reaches earlier obviously since its speed is more it reaches earlier it reaches late so in that case if my question is whether the meet on the way no because jeep b will move ahead of jeep a they cannot meet on the way but if jeep b starts its motion after certain time they can meet okay students 